the women's podium taking that gold. My Mihara of Japan and silver goes to the young American Isabel Levito and bronze is taken by Belgium's Luna Hendricks. The short program in the women's event was looking juicy. Five out of six competitors skating squeaky clean and only four points separating first to fifth place. We were setting up for a super Smash Brothers Battle Royale-esque free program. <sighs> but it was given more yikes, resulting in a very low scoring event and a competition of who could falter the least. Let's get into it. In the end, it would be Mai Mihara who takes it, and she was my controversial pick to win. Like everybody else, the short program was solid, sublime, and honestly, my fave of the night. She hits a new PB and is 1.01 points behind her training mate, Kaori Sakamoto, so close to making her entire Grand Prix season golden. The free is where she can make it happen, and up to this point, we have seen no clean skates from anybody, so there is no one to challenge her but the world champion who skates after. Mihara did not come to play. Her first six jump passes are dependable and strong, including two triple lutzes and combos and a double axle triple toe. But disaster as she doesn't get up for her final triple loop and essentially does an over-rotated fall on a double. Unfortunate as it was the closest and cleanest skate of the night, but she will have to settle for a 133, 10 points off of her PB in this segment. And the program components are pretty low, even with the obvious fall. But even so, my Mihara makes this Grand Prix season's official color gold. I'd say that that fourth place curse is officially lifted. She managed to beat the reigning Olympic champion and her teammate, Kaori Sakamoto, who had a heartbreaking event. She finally delivers a clean Janet Jackson short program that has been eluding her this entire season. And it seemed like the reigning world champ was back in her stride. But the free was one of the toughest to watch. Starts off with a slip as she enters the double axle, a foreshadowing of what's to come. The first triple lutz is out of control, doesn't get the triple triple off, no double axle triple toe, and pops her final triple loop in the dwindling moments of her program. This uncharacteristic skate will drop her to last place in the free program and fifth overall. All right, let's head on to the young American Isabeau Levito that sat in fifth place after a scintillating short program. Just like the rest of the event, however, the free was a bit of a struggle. The opening triple edge triple loop was scrappy and over-rotated on the triple loop, but she saves it and is looking strong as she heads into the second half of the program. Triple S Euler Triple Sow is good, but just like my Mihara, she goes down on her final jump. Very rare to see her fall as she is one of the most consistent skaters on the circuit right now. She is clearly disappointed, scoring only 127.97. It's 16 points below her PB and season best. And she lost some levels on spins, something that is very, very easy and also consistent for her. But after all the smoke cleared, the disappointment would turn into a smile as she earns her third silver medal of this Grand Prix circuit, and all that in her first year senior. Shout out to bronze medalist Luna Hendricks of Belgium, who started off strong like the rest of the competition, but struggled in the free, but she came back strong in that second half to clinch a bronze medal. Not the skate she wanted, but I'm sure a bronze at her first ever Grand Prix final will help take away some of that stick.
I know you la 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 loved that video. So subscribe so you don't miss anything and watch more videos because you loved it so much.